everybody this is julian welcome back to my channel and welcome to another come with me i just arrived in el nido palawan philippines this is my fourth island i've been adventuring on different islands and i'm really excited to share this come with me i think so far out of all of the places i stayed at this might be my favorite one because of the cute little hut and the amazing view now the stairs to get at this particular airbnb was pretty crazy um, and it's so humid and sticky hot that i just took a cold shower and i'm again sweating so i hope you guys enjoy this come with me i'm in my bikini because i can't wear anything else here it's so hot also let me know down in the comments below if you enjoy seeing my philippines content and which was your favorite island and place that i stayed at for this particular holiday i hope you guys enjoy another fun come with me one reason why i wanted to stay at this particular airbnb was because of the amazing view check it out i'm gonna start the tour from here which is where you check in and then we'll come back up the stairs and then we'll check out what's around my bungalow so i hope you guys enjoy this video this place is so pretty so as you can see el nido is very green every single place i've been in the philippines pretty much has the same vibe and I am in love with all of the plant life. I also seen some interesting philodendrons growing on the tree and maybe I can show it in one of these videos um, for the Philippines content. So I want to start off by sharing the anthuriums here at the check-in hut and I also like to see how people style their plants everywhere I go around the world. I've noticed in the Philippines they like to use coconuts and they also like to use plastic bags and plastic bottles. So these stairs started from 300 steps or so down. So it was definitely a trek to come up here with my suitcase. I think it's absolutely worth it. So when you come up here, I don't know what this is. This could be like something like a tiare, if I'm not mistaken. Sound off down below. Very pretty. And then as you can see, there's I think four bungalows here. I'm on the second one. So here's the first one here. So let's check out what they got up here in the lobby. So here is a very popular plant, the ZZ plant. I see it everywhere in the Philippines. No matter how far away someone is living in the middle of nowhere, I always see common plants like the Sensevaria. So here's another Sensevaria here. And a lot of Anthuriums and ZZ plants. So it makes me happy that no matter where you are around the world, there's always room for plant life, even if you're living in the middle of nowhere in a makeshift home. So I see some Agionemas, a lot of orchids, and also Diphenbachias and Caladiums is something that I see. I don't know what kind of plant this is. Might be a native plant. Sound off down below if anybody knows what this is. It looks like at some point there are some white flowers here which is so cute. I love the tiny branches. This looks like a spider plant. Look at the striping of it. Very interesting. Now, I also want to take note of what's going on here. So, we have more Chinese evergreen. So pretty. Look at this little hibiscus. I've never seen a hibiscus this tiny and small before. So pretty. Caladiums are also something that I've been seeing all around the Philippines. So that's pretty to see here growing. And then it goes on and on here. I also want to see what's going on in this section here. So a lot of caladiums growing. I also see a lot of bird's nest fern. Chinese evergreens. All right, let's make it up to this next section here. Also, sound off down below if you know any of the plant IDs that I'm not mentioning. So look at how they're styling the orchids. They're having it in net bags on a branch. And I've been seeing the orchids being styled on branches everywhere I've so look gone. look at the way how it's sticking onto the tree. I love that a lot. So as you can see, they're using the whole tree to style orchids on. And I think it's pretty cool. They also have an agave here. Let's make it up to this section. So stunning, I love it. Orchids. And this looks like some kind of coleus, which is also another very popular plant I've been seeing here. Here's a Dracaena. So pretty, it's growing in ground. Do you guys hear the noises? I'm up in the jungle and again, look at this epic view. Oh my goodness. 
So All this right. is what's going on on my deck here. There's the host. Very nice lady. Um, you can see more anthuriums here, but I think this is the first time I've ever seen agaves, which is really interesting to see it in the Philippines. I think I maybe seen it once. Oh my goodness, a butterfly sighting. Okay, love that. So a lot of anthuriums, and then let's go ahead and check out what's going on around my little private bungalow, which is so cute. The noises here are just so interesting. I love it. It makes me feel like I'm in an adventure somewhere very far. Okay. So here's what we see around my entryway here. This is the first rose I've ever seen in the Philippines. A lot of bugs. If you take a look really close, I don't know if the camera's catching it, but there's big ants here. Like, really big. And, um... Hopefully, it doesn't get on me or in my things. And then I will give you a quick tour of what my place looks like. I wasn't really able to give you a tour on the place that I stayed at in Corone because it was raining uh, every time I wanted to film when I wasn't touring and island hopping. So they got one basket of orchids there, so pretty. I like how they styled it. And then more plants here. And what else do they have here? And take my slippers off. I'll just share with you a quick little look of what the balcony and space looks like. So it's a wraparound balcony and then take a look at all of this. Lots of green everywhere. So pretty. Banana trees everywhere. And of course the epic view. And here, take a look at this, how they're styling the orchids so it's in the coconut which is so cool right I use coco core in my mixtures for a bunch of plants but to see them to use the actual coconut makes me really happy so that's a really pretty handy basket and then let me go ahead and share with you what the inside looks like also when you look here there's a bunch of different spider plants here and more Chinese evergreens so I like seeing the little spider plants everywhere. I like how they're using it as a decorative plant. And then there's just two more huts above me. Here's a quick look of my cute little hut. So they have a mosquito net. There's a fan running. Now my place in Corone, there was AC, but there's fan here. And then a quick look of what the shower looks like. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick come with me. I wanted to share with you what my place looks like that I'm staying at in El Nido, Palawan, Philippines. It is so humid here, which is perfect for plant life. I'm gonna head on out and explore the town. I'm going to be doing tour A and C the next two days. And make sure you watch my vlog channel, Miss Julin, where I'll be having all of my adventures on there. But for now, I hope you guys enjoyed another come with me out here in the Give Philippines. Give a big thumbs up for this amazing view. I can't believe I'm finally here in El Nido. I'll see you guys soon. You can find more on my blog at ilovejulian.blogspot.com. Until next time, aloha from El Nido, Palawan, Philippines. Bye!